back to the Introvert Circus. I'm Sassafras. It's just going to be me in today's video, and I am going to be showing you everything that I am giving my seven-year-old Newfoundland dog, Sirius, for Easter in her Easter basket. Everyone always loves videos like this, and I'm super excited to show you what I have this year for her. Her Easter basket is mostly going to be from Marshalls and the Dollar Tree, so I thought I would show you what I found. There's so many cool things you can do for your dog for Easter, so let's get going. So let's start with Dollar Tree. Um, if you haven't seen the short I posted last week, I posted all kinds of fun things that dog trainers and people who love their dogs, playing games for their dogs can find at Dollar Tree for Easter um, or, or just in general for the spring, all kinds of fun spring outdoor toys like cones, hula hoops, all of those make perfect Easter gifts for our dogs. I picked up this really cute pink Easter basket for her. I really like it. It's also really nicely sized so that she can carry it. She is, if you are familiar with um, our channel, a trick dog. So we're going to do fun Easter tricks with this basket. So she got a new Easter basket this year. I also could not resist getting her a new pair of bunny ears. She has other bunny ears, but these were $1.25 and they were adorable and they're going to be cute for her Easter basket. I also picked her up this package of iridescent, um, um, Easter eggs. They're a size large and they were $1.25. They're really pretty and they're going to be perfect for her to do her own little Easter egg hunt in the backyard. I will post video of her Easter egg hunt as well. So that's for her Easter basket. Then editing Sassafras, I also forgot that I am getting her edible doggy bubbles. She's gotten these in her Easter baskets before. The other thing I have for her Easter basket are of course toys because every Easter basket needs toys and treats. As far as treats go, I may end up swapping these out. These are just some just salmon skin big dog treats from Trader Joe's. She really likes them. These are probably going to go in her Easter basket unless I find some fun Easter themed treats, which could happen, in which case I will swap those out and these will just go into our regular treat rotation. The big gift in her Easter basket is this adorable Easter bunny. It has really cute floral ears that are crinkly and it's squeaky. I love Marshalls. These are a combination of, I think of Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Uh, they're right next to each other. When my friend and I went Easter shopping for our dogs about a month ago, um, but their toys are super affordable. This was $6.99, cannot beat that price. And it's going to be super cute as the main goodie in her Easter basket. So that is kind of the big stuffy she's getting, but she's a special girl. She's a big girl. She needed more stuffies. Um, so I also couldn't resist getting her this plush carrot that is crinkly and squeaky and it was $3.99 and I thought it was so, so cute and also such a great size for her. I'm also always excited when I find really cute toys like that that are big dog friendly. And then the last toy she got uh, this was also $3.99, is this puffer fish that has a pokeball inside. It's not exactly Easter themed, but it felt kind of like an egg and the colors really worked for Easter. So this is everything I'm giving my dog for Easter this year. Again, I might swap these treats out to something a little more festive if I find anything that I like, but otherwise they will work really well for her Easter egg hunt and I know that she loves them. So this is what I'm giving my dog for Easter this year. Let me know if you are putting together an Easter basket for your dog, what you have in it. I'd love to know what goodies you found. I was really pleased with everything I found for her. I think it's so, so cute, and I think she's gonna have such a fun Easter. I will, of course, be sure to share all of the Easter goodies and fun that we have with Easter egg hunting. We're doing some fun puppy Easter crafting, and I will, of course, share all of that with you guys here. I want to come back and start making a lot more content here on YouTube. If you have video requests or suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Again, I really want to kick off programming here this summer and this spring in terms of content creation. So let me know if you have suggestions and whoop, happy Easter to you and your dogs. If you celebrate, let me know what's in their Easter baskets. I will see you again in another video very, very soon. And in the meantime, don't forget to have fun with your dogs.